Problem 4. In a single slit diffraction experiment, let the wavelength of the light be 500 nanometers, the slit width is 6 microns, and the viewing screen be a distance 3 meters. A. How many minimas and maximas does this diffraction pattern have? Sketch the diffraction pattern in detail. B. At what distance does the dark fringe that is most distant from the center occur? C. What is the approximate location and relative intensity of the third diffraction maxima? Sketching out the situation, I have incoming light, which has a wavelength of 500 nanometers. So instead of writing 500 nanometers, I'm going to convert that into microns. So 500 nanometers is 0.5 microns. I have a slit with opening of 6 microns, and the screen distance is 3 meters. A. To understand what the diffraction pattern looks like, we have to calculate the diffraction parameter. And this is A over lambda, which is 6 microns divided by 0.5, which gives me 12. And therefore, the maximum number of minimums is given by the path difference equation. But for the maximum, sine of theta is 1, so then the maximum number of nd then is the diffraction parameter, which is 12. That means that there are exactly 12 minimas. Total number of minimas and maximas is that the total minimas is 2 times nd, which will give you 24. The total maximas is 1 plus 2 times nd minus 1, which gives you 23. The fraction pattern then looks like this. I'm going to have 12 minimas. In other words, look at that nd is going to be all the way up to 12. And if I look at the phase alpha, it's 0 pi, 2 pi, 3 pi, 4 pi, all the way to 12 pi. And then the pattern ends there. To determine the screen distance of the most distant minima, that is nd equal to 12, we set up the triangle. So here's my situation where from the slit opening to the screen is d. The distance that I want to calculate is delta y12, where I have this angle theta12 here. However, I know that all the minimas have the same spacings between them. So I can also write delta y12 is equal to 12 times the spacing of one of the minimas, the first minima. So if I calculate this distance, then I know that I'm going to have, um, I could then multiply that by 12 to get that distance. In the path difference equation, I have a sine 1 is equal to 1 times lambda. Now, if I solve for theta 1, I get theta 1 is going to be the sine inverse of 1 over the uh, diffraction parameter, which gives me 4.78 degrees. From this above triangle, I get delta y1 is going to be d tan of theta 1, which will then be 3 times the tan of 4.78 degrees. So I get 0 0.251 meters. The distance from the central maxima to nd equals to 12 is then delta y12 equals 12 delta y1, which then is 3 meters. The location of the third maxima can be estimated from the diffraction pattern. We know that the separations between minimas is exact. However, there is a small error for the location of the third maxima. It is not in the middle between 3 and 4. So it's approximately 3.5, but there's less than 1% there. So I can write this delta y nc equal to 3.5 then is going to be approximately equal to 3.5 times the separation between the minimas. Plugging in delta y1, I get that this location is 87.8 centimeters. Phase location alpha of the secondary maximas is given by the path difference equation. So in other words, if I have alpha, it's pi a sine theta divided by lambda, but for maximas, it's approximately equal to what? nc plus 1 half times lambda. So substituting that in, that alpha is approximately nc plus 1 half times pi. In other words, it's 3 halves pi, 5 halves pi, 7 halves pi. Since this is the third maxima, that's the phase location. Relative intensity 
at 7 pi over 2 is then going to be sine of alpha over alpha squared. So if I have sine squared of 7 pi over 2, that's got to be 1. So then I have, it's going to be 0 0.00827 or 0.827% for the relative intensity.